These are strange looking fish with a long, sharp nose and a red bright lip resembling lipstick. It's alleged that the colored lip is for the purpose of the male attracting the female for mating. Unlike other fish though, these are not efficient swimmers but have the ability to walk on the floor of the ocean by use of their fins as their legs. Once they grow to adulthood, their dorsal fin changes to a spine-like projection to help them in luring prey. They are relatively small in size but harmless. This is a small fish mostly found along North America's Pacific coast. It is aggressively territorial and has very strange defense mechanisms. Most of them are between 3-8 inches long. Being solitary creatures, they live in holes, shells etc. They also possess very large mouths that they use as a defense mechanism in quite a strange way whenever an intruder approaches them. This is a desert-dwelling animal with a strange appearance as if made of parts from other animals. Being well adapted for survivor in harsh desert conditions, the animal has an acute sense of smell, excellent hearing, and is mostly nocturnal. Some strange fact about it is that it's usually shy and elusive and can also hop to 10 feet high whenever a predator is chasing them. This is another odd-looking creature with a pink fleshy star just on its nose. The animal being long and dark brown has a water-repellent fur and big scary feet. Some other interesting fact about it is its tail that swells up with fat to four times its normal size. Among all other mammals, its sense of touch is considered the best, but it's blind preferring to stay underground. All these features and more are what makes the animals to be termed as the most bizarre creatures of our times. This is another strange sea organism commonly called the living rock due to its rock remembrance. It obtains its food, microalgae, by way of filtering it out with its pair of siphons from inhaled sea water. The creature is usually born a male. It however grows female organs with time and its breeding is by releasing both sperm, and eggs which meet in a fertile cloud forming minute tadpole-like offsprings. These eventually settle on the nearby rocks and gradually grow into adulthood. This is a strange looking creature of a small blue sea slug. It's 2-3 inches in length, has a silvery gray dorsal side, and dark, pale blue ventrally. With dark blue stripes at the dorsal side of its foot, its body is flattened with six appendages branching out into serrata. Its stomach has a sac filled with gas that aids it in floating on the surface. The sac's placement however causes it to float inverted. Its foot, underside, and dorsal surface have different distinct colorations providing camouflage as a means of protection from its predators. It also has other defense mechanisms that are strange in nature. Its manner of locomotion is unknown. This is the largest bird in the Alps region. It has a white or reddish yellow plumage on its head and breast as well as gray black wings and tail. The adult form has an appearance of a beard due to a black strip above the eyes and bristles at the lower end of the beak. It's a terrestrial bird in that it guards huge territories without tolerating any other mature vultures. It has an odd dietary habit in that it feeds mostly on bones in an odd-like manner. It was historically believed to attack lambs as well as young children.